I'm James R. Jacobs, uh, not the James Jacobs in charge of the Vaden Health Center. I'm the U.S. Government Information Librarian here at Green Library. I'm part of the Social Sciences Resource Group, all of us focused on collections and research services across the social sciences. We'd each like to briefly introduce ourselves and our subject areas and let you know what we do in the library and how we can help you. So as I said, I'm the U.S. Government Information Librarian. I'm also the Federal Depository Library Program Coordinator. You may not know, but Stanford is one of over 1,100 libraries around the country who work in collaboration with the U.S. Government Publishing Office to maintain the national collection and give access to federal government information to communities across the country. We've been an FDLP library since 1895, so we have very deep and rich historic and current collections of U.S. government documents, statistics, and data. Because government information has largely gone digital in the last quarter century, I do much of my work in the digital realm these days. I'm involved in several collaborative collections and preservation projects with libraries like the Library of Congress and the Internet Archive. A group of us are currently working on the 2020 end of term .gov .mil web harvest to ensure the preservation and long-term access of digital federal government information on the web. There's so much more to government information, so please contact me if you have questions about the workings of the federal government and public policy, issues like FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, or need access to government statistics or can't find some obscure congressional hearing or government report. Be sure to check out our databases page at databases.stanford.edu to get access to ProQuest Congressional Publications and Hathi Digital Library among the many government information databases to which we subscribe. And next I'll pass it over to Kathy Kearns. Take it away, Kathy. Hi, my name is Kathy Kearns and I'm the Education Librarian. I select resources that cover both practice and research in everything from the history of education to neuroeducation. We also have a large collection of curriculum materials past and present, including children's and young adult literature. At the moment, we are paging books from the Coverley Li Education Library for pickup at Green Library. Our topic guides can help you identify both paper and electronic resources, no matter where the physical collection is at the moment. You can find our guides at cub.stanford.edu. Feel free to contact me when you need help. For example, I found this summer that Zoom works quite well in allowing me to help students get started with their literature reviews. And now to my amazing colleague, Alicia Montgomery. Hi, my name is Alicia Montgomery, and I'm the subject specialist for sociology, psychology, and qualitative data. If you're in the sociology or psychology departments, drop me an email if you need help finding articles or books um, for your literature review, or if you'd like the library to buy a book or other material uh, that you need for your research. For all departments and schools here at Stanford, from the liberal arts to the professional schools, including education and medicine and engineering. Um, I provide individual and group training on the use of data analysis software for qualitative research. Stanford Libraries provides in vivo a qualitative software package for free download to your computer. If you're doing interviews or conducting an ethnography, you may find in vivo of use to organize, code, and query your data. And now I'd like to turn it over to my colleague, Regina Roberts. Hi, my name is Regina Roberts. I'm the librarian for the departments of anthropology, communication, and journalism. I'm also the librarian liaison for the programs related to feminist studies and Lucifone Africa. I provide um, res library research consultations for students and faculty, and I'm responsible for building library collections to meet those research needs. I'm available for email and online research consultations. And for those of you who are faculty and teaching assistants, I'm happy to work with you to provide library information workshops related to your courses. Or you can ask me to be your course librarian in Canvas, which is the online course management system. Email me for planning and details about that. My contact information and office hours are posted on my profile page 
accessible through the Stanford Library's homepage, library.stanford.edu. An example of a special project that I've been working on is getting data produced by Stanford researchers into the Stanford Digital Repository, which is a library service. The SDR is a long-term uh, digital preservation archive, and um, this uh, one project called the Big Local News uh, Project is um, a project run out of the computational journalism lab and the data collections that they produce are searchable in our catalog called searchworks searchworks.stanford.edu so that's how you find uh, our collections i'm also working on archiving archaeological data in the sdr with the help of my colleagues the stanford libraries have an array of databases for you to explore and collect and great collections so it, let me know what you're working on and I can start you off with some leads. And if we don't have an information source that you need in your collections, please get in touch. I look forward to hearing from you and welcome to Stanford. And now I'd like to introduce my colleague, Matt Maristica. Hello everyone, I'm Matt Maristica. I'm our political science subject specialist. And, and like my colleagues, I am here to work with people in the political science department and related areas who are doing research. Um, I'm per, I'm personally, I'm a comparativist, but my interests have expanded in my time at the libraries and I look forward to working with each one of you to help you get the data and other resources that you need. I'll tell you that most recently, a collection that I've helped to bring in that of which I'm particularly proud is the Washington Post data text data from 1977 to the present. Um, we are continually uh, on the search for this kind of data to support your research. You should definitely approach me and my colleagues with ideas for data sources that we don't have access to, but might support your research. And I'm going to turn my t the time over to my colleague, Ron Nakao. Thanks, Matt. Welcome to Stanford. My name is Ron Nakel, and I am the Social Science Data and Economics Librarian. I'm also Stanford's representative to ICPSR and the Roper Center for Public Opinion Research, two data archives that have thousands of well-documented social, behavioral, and public opinion data that can be downloaded and used by folks in the Stanford community. Please feel free to contact me if you are looking for economics-related books, journals, or data for your coursework or research or if you need help finding or accessing data. If we don't have something that you need, then I will see if I can purchase it for our collection. Finally, I can help you archive your own research data in the Stanford Digital Repository or help you with drafting your data management plan when you submit a grant proposal to NSF or another foundation. I also wear another hat. As the current head of SSDS, the Social Science Data and Software Group with Insider, the Center for Interdisciplinary Digital Research in the library. Sorry for all the acronyms. You will hopefully learn them all by the end of your career here at Stanford. At SSDS, we can help you find data for your research as well as consult with you if you run into problems using software applications such as R, Stata, SPSS, InVivo, Atlas TI, and Deduce for your analysis. Our software consultants are all doctoral students in the social sciences and have an insider's perspective on what you are facing. Our consulting lab is located in Green Library, but due to the COVID lockdown, we're doing all of our consult consultations via email or Zoom. For more information and online resources at SSDS, please check out our website at ssds.stanford.edu. All of these web links uh, and our personal contact information will be available on the final slide in our presentations. You can also submit a question or schedule an appointment by clicking on the contact us link on our SSDS website. Finally, I invite you to attend our CIDR workshop series. This, the workshops are designed to give you practical and useful information that will quickly get you started using the tools or techniques that are covered. Past CIDR workshops have covered R, Python, Stata, machine learning, data visualization, and data management. Check out the workshop schedule for details and to register at cider.stanford.edu. That's cidr.stanford.edu. And now I will hand it over to my colleague, Chris Kasinovich. Hi, everybody. My name is Chris Kasinovich. I go by Chris K for short. 
I'm the library's state, local, and international government information librarian. So I collect reports, publications, data, statistics, regulations, codes from government agencies at the city, county, regional, state, and international jurisdictions. Like James, I manage depository collections for the state of California, the United Nations, and several other international governmental organizations or IGOs. I also assist students with approaching government agencies, IGOs, and non-governmental organizations to get access to the data and information that they collect and publish. A specific area that I help researchers with a great deal is working with the U.S. Decennial Census, uh, basically if anything from 1790 um, and to the upcoming 2020 census and the American Community Survey data. I'm also available for one-on-one -on -one and group research consultations and I can meet with your classes to talk about a topic like how a bill becomes a law at the state and the local level, how to conduct research with the United Nations official records, or how to go about collecting level statistics from government agencies and NGOs. I also am responsible for providing access to a data set called CoreLogic Tax Indeed data. So if you've heard of CoreLogic um, in the news and you're interested in finding more about that data, please get in touch with me. And lastly, I'm also the co-chair of Stanford Votes, which is a campus-wide effort to promote voter registration and get out the vote efforts amongst our students. I'm happy to help with any questions you may have about voting or voter registration in California or in the state that you're currently registered in. As well as if you're doing any research on voting or elections, I can help you find sources for that research as well. So in conclusion, thank you for turning into, tuning into our introduction today. We hope that you have a better idea of who we are and what we do to support research and instruction across the university. As you can see, we cover a wide range of subject areas and content types. We work closely with each other, especially um, since so much of the work that you all do is highly interdisciplinary. You can start working with one of us, but we may work as a team to help get you the support you need from finding and accessing resources and data to using any number of statistical analysis tools and applications. We also collaborate quite closely with our colleagues at the Graduate School of Business and the Law Libraries, and most importantly, with our Humanities and Area Studies colleagues. I'd encourage you to check out their introduction called Meet Your Humanities and Area Studies Librarians as well, especially if your work takes you outside of the United States. And lastly, what I'd like to do is share a slide that has our email information on it so you can get in touch with us. So, as we said, please get in touch. Don't hesitate to reach out with us at any point in time. We're here to help you um, as you're here as a new student at Stanford, but throughout your research and student career here. And we look forward to meeting you and working with you in the future. Thanks.